You guys doing good? Welcome, welcome. Time for some ray tracing and underground one. How cool can it be? RTX Remix. Yeah, whatever it's called. If you want to download it yourself, I also posted it on Discord. If you need some, if you need some guidance, it's all here. <laughs> First thing that I noticed is like the extra loading that is going on. There's a lot of there's a lot of blurriness going on. <laughs> it doesn't hold 60 FPS on my setup. Yeah, having a 4080 doesn't really mean much when you're looking at these ray tracing mods. Wait, what happened to the graphics settings? You know, the first thing that I noticed in dark comparison with ray tracing from Underground 2 is that we actually have reflections on the car now. <laughs> but I feel like everything is reflecting. You have to. You have the trees reflecting the lights from all directions. There's definitely there's definitely some lower resolution running here. I think this is where this is where they're pushing like this NVIDIA algorithm DLSS lower resolution looking like high resolution that gives everything the softness. And this is reflecting from all angles. <laughs> you know what I notice? As I'm as I'm driving around, I see like the reflections changing depending on my position. Headlights aren't working. Eh, not really. I gotta say that too too dark might actually be somewhat realistic. You could you could argue that the original game is a little bit too bright. It looks like the AI animated videos. <laughs> I mean, you can probably assume and tell that there's a bunch of al algorithms who are trying to create an image here. It's still it's still a bit of a mess. <laughs> Wait, why did the light suddenly change? <laughs> hey, we found the light source again. The thing, okay, actually, you know, you know why Having the game set to 4K makes sense because now the resolution is way higher. It's twice as high, right? Like 4K, 4K is the default resolution, which actually gets halved by all of the stuff that is going on. It does look better now. Yeah, 1440p looks super rough. The problem is it goes down to 720p, right? Because of the DLSS that is necessary in order to keep the frame rate high. Like, I am so surprised that you can't do ray tracing at native resolution. So what it does, if you set it to 4K, it's being rendered in 1080p, basically. And 1080p looks miles better than 720p, you know, because it basically takes whatever resolution you have as default and then halves it. So my 1440p went down to 720p, it looked really rough. Now it's running at 4K, and now I understand why the default setting is set to 4K, because otherwise it doesn't look good. Like, this already looks way better. That also looks a lot closer to what we've seen in the preview YouTube videos. <laughs> the funny thing is, the the things that I found visually annoying were a lot more noticeable at the lower resolution. The high resolution, it blends in together a lot better. It is a broken ass mod, it does not let me select the car, so... I can try to play the save file on another installation and then come back to it. That's my, that's my next attempt. <laughs> Man, you immediately notice like how much darker the RTX version is. The thing, the thing about, you know, forcing ray tracing on an old game, it primarily makes it look different. Doesn't look that much better. As I said, you know, it primarily looks different. If it looks better or not, depends on the person you're asking. I think a lot of people are just gonna be caught by ray tracing, you know, as a, as a catch. Just because it looks different, they're gonna think it looks good. And at the end of the day, it comes down to like each and every one of you, if you like it or not. You know, you know. Ah, fuck, dude, dude. The button to delete your the button to delete your profile and the button to quit the game is like the same. It's like the same button. Whoa, <laughs> that freeze frame was funky. I can see, I can see a few users getting absolutely crazy trying to get this to run. <laughs> you know where I really notice that the game is running at the low resolution? On the wheels. Like when you see the wheels from the side, like they look so fucking pixelated. Honestly, you know what this reminds me of? Uh, 2015. I think, I think this mod is definitely for people that enjoyed the aesthetics of Need for Speed 2015. It has the same orange darkness to it. Like orange, orange lights everywhere and well, it's in the night. Dude, you should have seen you should have seen RTX and Underground too. Like the paint looked way worse. And this is probably where it really becomes noticeable that this needs a lot of work after after the race. The thing is the opponents still have the matte cars sometimes. Like this one is super matte. This one kinda. Auto exposure. Eye adaptation. Hmm, this actually might be better. I do think, I do think that looks better. The other, the other version was too dark in my opinion. I mean, I'm pretty happy that my own car's lighting is fine. I wonder, I wonder if there's certain paint jobs that looks, that look dreadful. I do like, I do like this brighter version. <laughs> Adaptation. You mean uh, reasonable colors. 
<laughs> but it has like the same effect going on that Underground 2 ray tracing had, where as you as you move closer to objects, like the illumination changes. I mean, if you just if you just look at the environment, you see like everything flashing and blinking. <laughs> this is this is whenever the game renders the light source as you get as you get closer. You know, you can you can force ray tracing into old games. The problem is they are clearly not made for them. So it really creates a mixed bag of effects. You know, sometimes you're like, oh cool, there's purple here everywhere. Coming from that light source, right? But hey, it's a working progress, you know? It can only go up from here. I kind of have to agree with the cars are extremely important because what I noticed while playing Underground 2 RTX was that everyone was complaining about the car not being shiny, right? Like that the default reflections of Underground 2 look better on the car. <laughs> this is where this is where you see the wheels being super messed up on the side. The ghosting is from the RTX. The original game doesn't have ghosting like this. Actually, the ghosting is from DLSS. I'm fairly certain about that. Also, one thing I noticed that the finish lines disappeared. For some reason. The textures of the finish lines are gone. Hey guys, Sakura here. Check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys. Click the link in the description below. <laughs> Whoa, that's dark. <laughs> Everything looks very experimental. I had DLS in many games before and I always disliked it because I have good eyes. I have really good eyes and I see any kind of distortion. So usually I prefer native resolution and as much frame rate as possible. That in my opinion creates the best clearest image. Yeah, kind of like, kind of like uh, Underground 2 did, you know, in some places it looks really good and in some places, yeah, not so much. Yeah, and you know why DLSS is a cool feature? Because it gives you more frames, right? If you want to impress, if you want to impress a young teenager, you can give him DLSS and be like, hey, now you have double the frame rate. This is the final view? Yeah, pretty much. The only, the only alternative really is like you can have this look or you can have the darkness look. Right, that's the that's the other look. This definitely looks more different from the uh, from the original experience. <laughs> it becomes so orange, though. You know what I mean? At least when you have when you have the dark atmosphere, at least it looks more different than the original game. <laughs> Dude, the number one thing that I always notice with these kinds of mods: some people love it and some people hate it. I might I might keep it in dark mode simply because the light mode. I don't know. Maybe I like the light mode more. It's, it's, it's kind of hard for me. Hard to tell. The dark mode makes it look, makes it more different to the original. Therefore, you get a different kind of experience from the game. This is a lot closer to the original uh, lighting of the game, plus ray tracing. Now, I think I like light more. But I think dark is a bit too dark, and it, no, it just fakes some darkness into the game. It does look better than Underground 2 ray tracing, that's for sure. But I can only imagine how much time it takes to, like, trying to dial in the settings. And even if you dial in everything perfectly, there's probably a huge amount of limitations that the game is giving you. Right? It's not like you're making a new game from scratch and you can, you know, set everything up the way you want it to. You do have some limitations given by the game. But right? it cannot render the light correctly if there isn't a light source. Or if there's not enough light or too much light, all that kind of stuff, you know. Maybe, maybe you could at some point add extra light sources and optimize the result. <laughs> yeah, Blackwell, finally playing 2015. Create light sources, oh, I see. Hey, in the meantime, check out Medmonk for amazing supplements, link in the description below. Car reflections are the biggest problem for the modders. The same issue happened with Underground 2 ray tracing. But yeah, the ghosting, the ghosting is such an ugly ass effect, man. I hate DLSS. The problem is if you turn it off, your frame rate goes to shit, I think. We can try. Then uh, it's probably gonna kill the frame, it's probably gonna very much kill the frame rate though. Because it's rendering in 4K. <laughs> yeah, but hey, the, the ghosting, the ghosting of the car disappeared. Oh, that leads to some other issues though. Like what is this, what is this stuff behind me? <laughs> yeah, it just it just all looks like ass. Let's stick to DLSS. At least it runs, you know, smoothly. Oh, does the car actually reflect on the ground? It might not be. It might not be all from ghosting. It looks different. It does. I mean, that's the entire point, right? To give you an idea what this game could look like with modern tools. There's definitely some spots that look better. 
Like if I'm nitpicking, I'm looking at the wheels and they look terrible and I'm looking right behind the car where the ghosting happens. Yeah, I mean, we have stable frame rate right now. We can go from ultra performance to let's say performance and see if it's still good. Nah, it's immediately below 60. Do you notice it? You go away, you go away from ultra performance. The game looks sharper now. I think you notice. I think you noticed this looking better, but it's also running at low FPS. This is good for screenshots. <laughs> <laughs> this is the IGN graphic setting. Ultra performance is 720p and this is 1080p. So why doesn't it just give you the fucking resolution that is so stupid? I hate, I hate when people do this. Like if this is 720p and this is 1080p, just write it there. Like why, why withhold the information from me? If that is what it does. I'm annoyed. Marketing. Fuck marketing! Give me information! Give me information I can use, I can work with, so I can actually figure out what the fuck is going on. I'm not clicking on a YouTube video, clicking on higher, higher quality setting. Like, I picked the resolution. Useless fuckers, man. Marketing people. <laughs> the Java rims. Hey, that actually looks better. You know, for a second, like when I went when I went closer, it actually looked like it's metal reflecting, but also, also the wheel. The tire is reflecting like it's wet. But who will they sell their shitty GPUs to? Not my problem. What the hell? <laughs> what does it change? What does it change the the reflections on the rest of the car? Hey, it did. It did at least grab the green. I remember on the underground two RTX mod when I picked neons, it was posting some really weird texture onto the ground. I actually booted the game earlier in 1440p instead of 4K, and it looked like ass. <laughs> it looked really bad. The, the modder definitely had the right idea to have the default setting at 4K because it does get downscaled by DLSS anyways. You know, I'm just saying if you have so many tools to play with, there should be some kind of explanation with the tools. Like just calling performance, ultra performance, balanced, whatever. But then it represents a certain resolution that is being used. Maybe, you know, just put that information in there. Because not everyone has the luxury of having hundreds of people uh, supporting them in the chat, right? Like, most people are on their own when they play stuff like this, and they probably give up because it's too exhausting. <laughs> Dude, I love how the reflections are changing when you put in... That actually looks like a relic, regular cover. I want at least 60 FPS consistently. If you give me less than 60 FPS, it becomes a very unenjoyable experience for me. I don't... I do not like racing games below 60. Especially when you have... When you have racing games that are locked to 30 FPS, I think that gets extraordinarily ass. Like, I, I hate... I hate it... The PlayStation 3 and the 360 generation so much because they were always pushing resolution and graphics and really tanking the frame rate. I think a lot of racing games got extremely unenjoyable because of those limitations. And most of those games are way more fun on the PC. I will never get trade in my car because the Miata is better at this point. Oh, now it works. Literally, the only the only one that doesn't work is like the first car selection. That's the one thing that doesn't work. Hmm. Reflections look pretty good on the on the Miata. Yeah, of course it's work in progress. But one thing that I also learned over time, some works in progress never leave that state. Right, like they bring out a functional version and then they never touch it again. Happens too. I actually think the Miata looks better. The day mode for this. Maybe. I remember I remember an underground 2 day mode. I wouldn't be surprised if someone made one for Underground 1 too. This car looks better. Yeah, I thought so too. The reflections coming off this car do look a bit better. So this is the alternative way of looking at things. This is how you get it. If you download the mod right now, this is what it would look like for you. The dark version. I might actually, I might actually stick to the dark version for the rest of the stream because it makes it look more different. And I think I think that's gonna be looking good for the YouTube video. <laughs> Looks like I'm in the club three. You could say it has some similarities. Oh man, this car is so nice. In the beginning, it actually comes with grip. The thing about ray tracing in Most Wanted, it happens during the day. So that's probably a completely different beast when it comes to making an RTX mod for it. This actually reminds me of a blue paint that you get in Most Wanted. The super dark custom colors, exactly, exactly. Those are the ones that you also find in Most Wanted. Like when you go, I think, Palescent? I'm actually not sure if they're called Palescent, but basically the last color option in Most Wanted. That is what this blue looks like. Although it probably needs a lot less performance to render it in, in Most Wanted. I wonder if the player gets 
different ray tracing treatment than the opponents. I mean, performance-wise it would make sense, because I can imagine that the car is reflecting a lot of polygons, or from a lot of polygons. Playing around with some of the settings just to realize if you keep it on stock it's probably the best option. Mods, can you run a straw poll? I'm actually curious what the audience is thinking. Which one do you prefer, dark or lighter? A brighter, I guess. The thing is, this is way closer to the original look of the game. Whoa. <laughs> Actually, fast accelerating if you change to neutral first, let the engine rev, and then kick in first gear. Oh, there's some weird <laughs> blue fog going on, what the hell? It's supposed to be water spray. It has to be. Oh, now I see the result of the poll, though. 60% OG lock, brighter and 10% for darker. Interesting. I'm surprised so many people are against the dark mode. I thought it would be a little bit closer between dark and bright, but it's probably too dark. It's probably too dark and, you know, might be used for a trailer or two. But you're right, for gameplay, yeah. It feels like a lot of a lot of light is just being is just lost. I think rendering-wise, it's the same. I don't think that the options, uh, the light sources change just how much the image is, is exposed. Dark mode is actually super close to 2015. I also got some very similar vibes. And to be honest, I don't like it. <laughs> I think 2015 was too dark. And so, so is this mod on default. I think I don't want to put on carbon because I don't think the ray tracing is gonna look good on it. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it takes solar art style out of the game. If anything, it is unoptimized, right? Like if anything, it should look better. But obviously, a matter of time and effort too, like how much time are they going to put into the mod in the first place. It's a cool concept. And honestly, if you like the original look, just play the game with the original look, right? This is for everyone that wants something else. I did not see that car. It doesn't look bad? It doesn't. I think it actually looks better than the RTX mod for Underground too. But both of those mods are going to develop over time and... I'm uh, curious to come back to them in the future and see how they improved. It's gonna be a lot of work though, I'm fairly certain. Let's see some other RTX colors. I think we should go for a green now. Let's see how that looks. How's the performance? Uh, similarly to the other RTX version, you're gonna need some powerful hardware. Like even my 4080 drops below 60 FPS at some points. I think this is one of the most impressive lightings in this mod. But you also notice as you're driving around how like the lights are flickering and changing around all the time. You do get used, you do get used to it, but just look at a tree and how it like flickers different reflections all the time. I mean, you even have like the trees flickering themselves. <laughs> Sharp reflections. I mean, a mod like this is if you want to play the game, but you want it to look different, right? This is not supposed to replace uh, the original look of the game. Because for that, it's not good enough. Could be possible, but I don't think it is. I don't think you're gonna find, like, the perfect lighting settings that, you know, keeps the original art style and looks better. I honestly don't think that's possible. Hmm, I gotta say, the reflections look good on that blue. Crazy how dark that 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 aisle was, but I guess there's no there's no light sources in there. Oops, I forgot that I have to go right here. <laughs> I think I still prefer vanilla, but at the same time I like the RTX mod as well. You know, it's cool technology and I hope they keep developing it. They keep using it. Because you know if you do everything right, it will look better than the original and I do enjoy playing old games in a new look, especially when it's better. As a potential, absolutely. And I would definitely say it's about the tech at the moment rather than the than the actual graphics that you get. It's all good. Ooh, I think the lighting on that part looked good. How do I like the retracing mode compared to the Underground 2? I think this one is a bit more refined. I think the overall look of this one is better. There it looks pretty cool. The thing is, at this point, I actually got used to the low resolution. But you can probably tell how soft the entire image is because it's basically 720p upscaled to 4K. Now, this is, this is generally the problem with this modification because in Underground 2, it's the same. You also render in 720p and then upscale it, because otherwise you don't have enough performance. I wonder if this mod is as simple as just placing light sources. Does anyone in here have any experience with the tool that is used here? I think it's more about configuring how light will be reflected on different surfaces. You're not sure. Now, someone else earlier just said it's about placing light sources. That's why I mentioned it. You guys say the drag race with the ray tracing looks pretty cool. It's funny how like the reflections change depending on what is equipped. <laughs> I think some, some parts just just don't have it. Or maybe, maybe just here. You know, maybe the problem just exists here. Wow, that's very bright. <laughs> it also lagged. 
There's gotta be a lot of light and light sources in there. Oh wow. <laughs> Yo, you really see how badly the DLSS is working here. You can really choose between some of the ugliest wheels in the world right now. Wow, it looks so blurry. This shows perfectly the downsides of DLSS. Open world racing games, locked parts of the map, having to unlock the parts. Like Underground 2, Most Wanted. Yeah, it's fine. You have it like that in Carbon 2. It's just, I'm a little bit bored of open world. You know, I don't mind having an open world. I just think like it would be super nice if you could add races outside of the open world. You know, classic Need for Speed style where you just have a race in France or Italy or wherever really, right? Just additional races around the world that put you into a completely different environment because you get used, obviously, to the open world. Everything looks the same. A little bit better than that was, for example, Rivals because it had like four territories that all look different. I just wish it was bigger. I think Rivals would be fantastic with a bigger world map and the four zones. You know, Carbon kind of did that. You had the open world, but you also had the canyon. And Pro Street did it extremely well, yes. Pro Street's events all around the world, super fun. And that is a really classic Need for Speed right there. I mean, you have Midnight Club with three open worlds, that's cool. Midnight Club 2 and 3 had that, where you had multiple open worlds, so that, that also works for me. You know, whenever they say that, you know, graphics is the reason they can't make the games as big as they used to be, I kind of don't believe it. Like, they modeled, they modeled three worlds back then. Does it really stop them from doing that again? Like that, I have a hard time, I have a hard time believing that, to be honest. Like Midnight Club LA to me felt a lot more boring than Midnight Club 3. The limitation of being just in one map comparison to three, it took away the variety. Like more than Forza Horizon, that's fine. Some of them are definitely better than others. For example, I didn't like Horizon 5's Mexico too much. Especially since it ditched the Four Seasons effectively. The way how they did it in Horizon 4, which actually had four different seasons, that was that was actually a great way to make the map more interesting over time. And I actually enjoyed Winter a lot because it looked so different and it played differently too. Like I actually liked that it played differently too. I didn't mind that some cars had a harder time gripping now. I really liked the season feature. Horizon 4 just felt a lot more complete than 5. And huge part of it was the map, but the game mods actually made for that map. For example, the Eliminator worked way better on 4. So performance, it takes a lot of performance. My 4080 does not hold 60 FPS at all times. Looks like an un Unreal Engine 5 game. <laughs> yeah, it does look, it does look a bit rough around the edges. Lighting looks too dark. Let me show you something. This is actually the brightened up version. This is how it gets shipped. If you don't turn on eye adaptation, this is what it looks like. You get an even darker version. But in my opinion, at that point, like, all the dark colors, they blend into each other and it becomes too dark. Looks better. It depends who you ask. Some people prefer the lighter version and some people like the darker version. That's why I think optionality is always the most important thing in video games. Some people are gonna like it like this, some people are gonna like it like that. And if you can just choose what you like, then everyone's happy. Yeah, I mean, they do recommend at least a 3080, I think, for this mod. <laughs> you, can, you can turn down the resolution, though. Obviously, it's gonna get more pixelated if you do. But if all you want is, like, see the game, you can modify the widescreen.me and just change the resolution. <laughs> yeah, I think a 5080 would probably be able to hold the 60 FPS consistently. And maybe you can even turn up the graphic settings to performance instead of high performance <laughs> or maximum maximum performance whatever it's called yeah headlights rendering apparently was too difficult so yeah no headlights on the car at the moment i assume that it created a bunch of problems it's so dark here man red light district can see them dancing almost looks like a modern need for speed yeah this looks a lot more like need for speed 2015 in a lot of situations no there's plenty of people in here that prefer the original look of the game this is more like a showcase of what's possible and what still can be approved on in the future okay it actually crashed this time oh it crashed hard i can't even hold the 40 game <laughs> ah fuck dude